So all these videos about the nature of matter and of experience and consciousness have got me thinking uh, about how science and scientific knowledge about the so-called objective world relates to our actual subjective experience of living. Um, because there seems to be quite a conflict in the modern age between our scientific concepts and our embodied percepts or perceptions. Um, the world that we experience is a world where the sun rises in the morning and sets in the evening. The world of scientific conceptuality, however, is one where the sun is the center of the solar system and the planet Earth revolves around it. So, while it may appear from our perspective here on planet Earth that we are at the center, since Copernicus or Aristarchus or you know the Pythagoreans in ancient Greece, um, but at least not until the modern age did it become popularized that we're actually just a random planet floating in a random solar system and a random arm of the Milky Way galaxy, which is one random galaxy amidst a hundred billion others, um, which randomly exploded into existence at some point around 15 billion years ago. However, the odd thing is that uh, contemporary uh, cosmology has recognized that really the Earth is at the center of the universe, because as far as we look out into the deep space, um, the end of it is about, or exactly 13.7 billion years away, um, light years away. And so we see this cocoon of radiation, which is equidistant from us at the center, no matter which direction we look in the sky. So the most recent uh, findings of the physical sciences, in fact, contradict at least the cosmology of the Copernican revolution. Certainly the sun is still the center of the solar system, but something odd is coming into the picture. Um, it's almost an aspect of the anthropic principle, which is that um, field of inquiry within cosmology or astrophysics that deals with the human relationship to the universe that we know and, and measure scientifically. Um, because we find that as observers in this universe, we exist at the center because uh, space and time are infinite. Um, not That doesn't mean that they're really big. It means that there's no outside of them. And so it, it follows that any point within this infinite space-time continuum is the center because the circumference of space-time is nowhere. The center becomes everywhere. And this is a new finding in cosmology that has not filtered down uh, into the public imagination. We're still living on a mass level in uh, the 15th or 16th century, um, or 17th century, if, if we're lucky. I mean, um, the educated person today, the average educated person lives in the 17th century and understands, you know, basically that science has proven that nature is basically a machine and uh, there is no higher realm of existence other than your average human psyche. Um, so life is basically meaningless, though we can pretend to have meaning based on our own subjective enjoyments. That's, you know, kind of a caricature of the modern uh, way of thinking which is really rooted in the 17th century, or in the Enlightenment in general. Um, but those who have really integrated this new scientific finding of cosmology, that the universe is infinite because, because it has a beginning. Because again, infinite is not something about size or the length of time or anything. It's just that there is no outside to the universe. Um, it, its circumference is nowhere, so its center is everywhere. Um, when this is taken into consideration and fully recognized and understood, we no longer live in a mechanical nature. Um, we no longer live in a meaningless uh, 
place, a meaningless universe, um, because we recognize time is a process of becoming, and we, as the perceivers of this process of becoming, as the observers of nature, are caught up in the evolution of nature. And so, you know, any knowledge we have of this nature is also something that we are doing with nature. We don't know a world separate from our ability to know it. Um, you know, the anthropic principle, if you boil it down uh, to its, its purest statement, it's that we only know the world that we exist in. The subjective experience of, of we as human beings only allows us to know this universe. Uh, because it all began in an infinite uh, point, a singularity, and remains an infinite. Uh, you know, a point, what is a point? Well, a point is undefined. I mean, we just assume that there is such a thing. Um, but there's no concrete example of what it is. So it has no space, it has no size. And so the universe, 13.7 billion years after the Big Bang, is still a point. Um, and we all exist as that point. And this is contemporary cosmology, as far as I understand it. Uh, maybe you have a different understanding of it. And uh, I'd be pleased to reflect on and respond to uh, your understanding. So let me know.